There is a goal in Grand Rapids to increase tree canopy to 40% citywide. But it's just as important to take care of the trees we already have, and that is why the city is asking for your help to protect against a predator that has recently been on the rise. 13 on your side, Shanna Grove walks us through what you can do. The gypsy moth threatens trees all over Grand Rapids, especially right here in Oak Hill Cemetery, one of the high density areas. You can actually see the egg sacs on this tree behind me, and each one can have thousands of larvae inside. And yes, the turkeys are here to help me tell this tale. <laughs> Gobbling up acorns from the oaks, turkeys aren't the only ones that have taken to these trees. The gypsy moth is an exotic invasive moth. Um, and the problem really isn't the moth, it's, it's the caterpillar. They'll climb up the trees and they'll eat the leaves. And they, they go after primarily oak trees. The moths are not new to Michigan, but have become more of a menace in recent years. There's a bacteria, a virus, a, a fungus that'll go after them. Um, but the previous two springs have been really bad for controlling the gypsy moth for their predators. So we've seen their their population spring up quite a bit. This is a map of the hardest hit public areas in Grand Rapids, including Oak Grove and Woodlawn Cemeteries, Plaster Creek Trail and Kenosha Park. We've seen some mature trees get defoliated uh, a couple years in a row, which even for an old oak tree is, is very taxing and can lead to them them dying. To prevent that, all you need is a scraper, container, soap, gloves and glasses. We're just going to hold the jar at the base of the egg sac and scrape on into there. Uh, you can also use like uh, a butter knife. Plastic is preferred. That can get into the crevices pretty well. And then we're just going to scrape off as, as much as we can. You can do this fall through spring. Just let them soak for 48 hours before disposing. So once we've scraped our trees, uh, we're going to put bands of duct tape around the trees. You want to start with your sticky side down so they stay on the tree. And the whole reason we're doing this is for when the caterpillars climb back up the tree uh, to feed on the leaves, we want to stop them. This step comes solely in the spring. Wrap a double band of duct tape around trees with the outer layer sticky side out. Keep these on your trees until late June, early July. Those are the easiest steps uh, for homeowners to take. There are trunk injections as an option. There are sprays uh, that you can hire people to do. Both of those you would need to hire um, an arborist. No matter what you do, the turkeys will thank you. <laughs> In Grand Rapids, Shanna Grove, 13 on your side. Beginning in late May, early June, Grand Rapids is going to do an aerial spray for gypsy moth. First time this has happened in the city for about a decade. If you live near one of those high density areas, keep an eye out for the notices that are going to be coming out sometime early next week.